Hello and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do for you a little vlog. I haven't done much vlogging for a long time because uh, not really done a lot. So we, I've come away with my family, my mum, my dad and my brother. We've come to a place called Billin Aquadrome which is in Northamptonshire and we're staying in a caravan for a week the four of us and then my little nephew's coming for a few days as well so I'm just going to film just random bits throughout the week um, I don't know whether it'll be one vlog or two we'll see depends how much footage I get but I'll just show you a bit of um, Billy Aquadrome and what we get up to so I hope you enjoy it oh sun's in my eyes so what day is it the Wednesday Wednesday today we're off on another ramble hopefully uh, not quite as adventurous as yesterday Gosh, my eyebrows look a bit dark. Goodness me. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a little recce around Billy Aquadrome today to have a look round. So I'll stick a few pictures in that sort of thing. And then we're going for a Chinese tonight. Uh, my brother and I have been working out this morning to the kettlebells. I beasted him on the bells. Really hurt as well. So Made him sweat. Much. Yes, beasted the brother. Right, so we're off on a walk now. We're just sort of walking around the perimeter. So we've come out of Billin Aquadrome now and we're just following the water. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all that. It's really nice. Oh, that's a tree. But there's some lovely wildlife around. Oh, I love being out with nature. I've got a thing about walking by water and being around water. I think I said earlier, don't like being in it, or well, I might not have said it, don't like being in it or on it, but I like being by it. Beautiful. Here's the fam, he's just got a stone in his shoe again. I'm raking a bit from yesterday's walk. Here's all the beautiful boats. We have decided this little tiny pony looks like me, it's got a fringe like me. Oh look! Oh, it's tiny. Oh, it's on its own. Oh, I can't see it. Look at that! I bet you can't see how small it is. It's tiny. It's like a little shuttle pony. Ooh, there it goes. Been eating too much grass. Not interested now. It knows we've got any food. Look what we've just found on, the, on a little retail park, a ginormous Poundland and Pep and Co. And of course I'm going in. I have managed to just do a little bit of filming. This is a huge store. Look at all this. Uh, we need some shower gel. We've run out. Oh, let's get some of this stuff here. What have we got? Oh, that smells like squashy. It smells like green milk bath and shower or original sauce. I want one for a quid. Oh, what's that one there? That smells nice. Pineapple and lily. Let's go for that one. This makeup, I keep seeing this, the uh, foundation setting spray. It's quite expensive, three pounds, considering it's in Poundland. Anything there that I need? My favourite hand cream, you know I love a bit of that. Oh, they've got a load of anti-aging stuff there, the hashtag six, but that's three pounds each. Garnier tissue mask, two quid. There's quite a lot of stuff that's more than a pound now. Right, let's have to see if there's anything in the makeup bit. This is where I always tend to get my uh, magic gems, as you know. They're not looking too great though, but they look nice, those little nails. Oh, I could do with some, um, I do need some cotton wool. Ran out of that. Lost her away. Packed so frivolously. Jess Wright has brought out some new makeup brushes. I bought some of these actually, which I'm going to feature on a haul. That's a Duo 250. Got 
the uh, home stuff here, they've got some really nice bits. These little wooden serving boards for a pound. I spotted these, these are nice, these charger plates, these are £2 each, they come in um, copper or black. Oh, hello, two quid a piece. Some lovely plates and bits and bobs. Glasses. Oh, I've seen a lot of people have these. Some people have painted them white. Jugs. Pound for a jug, unbelievable. And then the glasses, matching glasses, two pack for two pack for a pound. They're nice. Good Pound a piece. Then we're going into the Pep and Co part. This is massive in here. Oh my goodness me. I think I might have to just stop filming so I can have a proper look round. I'll quickly whiz you round and then I should be stopping. Because there's a few bits there that I like the look of. Seven pounds for those shorts. Oh, they're nice, those white ones. Got some like that though. Shoes. Look at all that loungewear there. These are nice, these jeggings. I've had a, pair, a couple of pairs of these, about seven pounds. I've got this colour here, sort of a grey. Of course, you've got all the children's stuff. Oops, a of stuff just saw me there. Oh, I wonder if they've got any bras in my size. Right, let's turn this off now. I'm going to have a look. Just got to switch to a voiceover because there was a bit of music playing. They've got all these flash items. I've not seen these in Pound None before. Um, I use this flash mop system, so I'm really pleased to see that they've got the actual refills and the actual mops. Uh, quick look over here to a bit of laundry stuff and over to the air fresheners. Got these lovely candles and rediffusers. I've not seen this sort of product line in there before for five pounds each. All different air fresheners as normal. And then over to elbow grease. Love that stuff for a pound. Really good at getting stains out with that and obviously it's a degreaser as well. A few different mopping and bucket items. different dishwasher brushes and uh, a bathmatic. I want to get one of those actually. Um, and then here, a dishmatic set. So you get the dishmatic brush, refills and some dishmatic washing liquid for only two pounds, which is a really good price. Over here to sort of the electronic items, um, you've got phone covers, headphones, um, charger leads, you have to be a bit careful with those. I've been a bit scared off of those. Um, just a bit worried about them, you know, setting on fire. All different headphones here. I actually picked up, not from this store, but another store recently, a pair of headphones for 50p. And they're not that bad. Here we've got some uh, travel items. Mosquito stuff and travel tags. A game of pick a poo. What on earth is that? Like these little bags here, you get a three set, odds and ends, this and that, bits and bobs. Um, I quite fancied them, but I didn't really have a use for them. And then just some sort of more um, gardeny stuff here for the summer, you know, like the plastic items. Plastic bowls and plates. A bit of greenery here, these are quite nice. There's quite a lot of those, isn't there? I don't tend to look so much in the gardening section. These are really cute. These are like little, um, they're like creating your own miniature, miniature secret garden, all the little bits to go in it. You've got like little fairy doors and different little items to go in there. Over now to the stationery. You know I love stationery in Poundland. There's pens everywhere, pens galore. Look at all these. These, this this is such a big store compared to my local one. 
So much selection. Look at these fancy ones. I love these with the lips on. Um, I didn't buy one and I wish I had now because uh, that's quite a novelty pet. Good old standard Byros highlighters. Look how much there is. All the Sharpie stuff, different pencils. There's no way near this much in my shop. Different colouring books here, pencil cases. Stuff for studying for students. And for children as well, school children, you know, like school stuff. Some fancy pencil cases there with uh, sort of a leopard print design on. Really nice stationery stuff at such affordable prices. And then you've got some crafting items here. I've picked a few of these up previously if you've seen on other hauls. And then just coming to the end of the Come Shop With Me, a few more pairs of pyjamas. Love those peachy coloured ones. Um, I wish I'd bought those. So just finishing off here with a few t-shirt and short sets or vests and shorts. Really good value at £5. So back to the main vlog now. So we're at the end of the walk now and we've just come to the pub that is just off the Berlin Aquadrome grounds. Got this lovely view of some of Berlin Aquadrome and then this water and these lovely barges. And this is where um, the England game, game was playing yesterday. So that's where mum and dad watched it and Adam has a big um, screen just here. We've got the Wimbledon on today. So yeah, another lovely day. And then we're going over in a minute to, I think over there somewhere, to a Chinese restaurant, which is apparently supposed to be one of the best Chinese restaurants in the area. And then we've managed to get in because we've booked in midweek. And uh, the duck pancakes are supposed to be lovely, but I keep seeing ducks and I'm just thinking, hmm. Not hmm. More like, ooh, sort of moral dilemma. In fact, I don't think that is a duck. What is it? I don't know, but there's two of them. Oh, it's the dive strike down. Be careful not to drop my phone in the water. Right, I'm going to get back to my half a Guinness. So it's been lovely. Um, coming outside and walking around so much really enjoyed it I know a lot of you know I'm quite an outdoorsy person anyway so it's been good to do that it's been such a relaxing break so far just you know nothing's done to time We're not on time limits of anything it's just really been a real nice chill out and relax which is what I wanted so we're on day we're on Wednesday and tomorrow my little nephew's coming so of course you know how excited I am for that Adam's gonna go and pick him up in the morning so uh, yeah, can't wait. So there will be some filming of that. In for the Chinese. That's pretty. Mm. Mind a few of those if you don't mind. Oh, this is big. Look at this. Oh, wrong crack out on the table. Oh, nice. Here we go. So, we've come to a... Oh, you can eat Chinese. Look at this lot. This is the starter. You just pick as many items as you want. You put them on this whopping great plate. And you can spin around and help themselves. Yummy. So, we've got some ribs. We've got prawns. We've got prawn toast. What was that? Chicken, was it? Chicken batter. And chicken satay. Chicken satay. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Let's go. So, good night for tonight.